in this uh, video we would talk about the structure of prokaryotic cell and in prokaryotic cell as we have seen that the example that is included is bacteria so basically we are talking about the structure of a bacterial cell there are various shapes in which these bacteria exist but the most common one which are called bacilli they have oval or rod shaped body so this rod shaped structure which is slightly oval the outermost membrane which we have drawn is actually the plasma membrane of the bacteria so this line represents the plasma membrane outside this plasma membrane there is a cell wall and this cell wall is made up of a substance called peptidoglycan this is all around we can just show it in one part and it is going to be everywhere all around the cell so this layer is cell wall and the substance that it is made up of is called peptidoglycan peptidoglycan sometimes some bacteria have one more layer outside this and that layer which is outside it could be a gelatinous capsule which protects the cell from drying or desiccation so this is the capsule it is also termed as glycocalyx so this is an additional layer which may be found in certain bacteria so basically there are two layers that is plasma membrane and cell wall this capsule may or may not be present inside the cell is present the cytoplasm in case of prokaryotes as we have said that there is no membrane bound structure so all the enzymes which are present in individual organelle of eukaryotic cells all those enzymes all those substances are present in cytoplasm so cytoplasm has enzymes for all activities which are required for a cells uh, functioning now which all structures are present here these are prokaryotic pro means primitive karyon means nucleus so there is no nuclear membrane genetic material is present in the form of a circular dna plasma membrane has some in folds at certain areas the plasma membrane shows these in folds and attached to these in folds we may find the circular dna these in folds are known as mesosomes mesosomes that means these membranes they have enzymes for respiration so they have respiratory function respiratory in the sense break down to release energy so they work like mitochondria work like mitochondria of eukaryotic cells there is one more function as we said that the circular genetic material it could be in the center or it could be attached to this mesosome when is it in the center it is in the center when the cell is not dividing when the cell is dividing then the circular dna is attached to the plasma membrane or is attached to this mesosome so this is the dna and the reason why it is attached to dna because mesosomes also help in cell division cell division so this circular dna it gets its copy made and then one part remains attached here the other goes to the other part and then the constriction or the uh, cell wall formation 
takes place. So that is the function of mesosome and that is why DNA of a cell which is about to divide would be attached near the plasma membrane closer to the mesosome. No membrane bound structure. The only structure which is found is the ribosome. So we are seeing the granular structures that is the ribosomes. And the ribosomes which are present are 70S type of ribosomes. 70S ribosomes that means the Swedberg's coefficient of these ribosomes is 70S. In eukaryotic cell, the ribosomes which are present, they are called ATS type of ribosomes. In some bacterial cells, there is a circular extranuclear genetic material and this is known as plasmid. If a cell, a bacterial cell has plasmid, if plasmid is present, then the cell is termed as of positive strain. And if plasmid is absent, plasmid absent, then the cell would be termed as of negative strain. There are few more terms given. Positive strain cell is termed as a donor cell or is considered equivalent to male cell. The rest negative strain cell is considered as a recipient cell or equivalent to the female cell. What all is present on the plasmid that we will take up in some time. The bacterial cells have finger-like projections. These finger-like projections help in adhesion. That means if the cell has to attach on some kind of a substratum, then these structures would help. These structures are known as fimbri. Their role is adhesion. So they help the cell to stick to or attach to a substratum. Now coming to this plasmid. Plasmids have three types of genes. First, the gene is known as F gene or fertility gene. Fertility gene is responsible for formation of sex pili. Similar to this fimbri, slightly bigger, there are similar kind of projections but they are bigger in size and this structure or these structures, they are called sex pili. These two things, they are sex pili. Sex pili are required by the donor cell or positive strain cell to hold on to the negative strain cell during conjugation so that there is exchange of genetic material. And the gene which is responsible for this sex pili formation is F gene. F gene is located on plasmid. So if plasmid is present, the cell is going to have sex pili. So if we see a cell, a bacterial cell with sex pili, we can conclude that this is positive strain. And the reason is it is having F gene and F gene is present on plasmid. And if plasmid is present, then the cell is termed as of positive strain. The second gene which is there is known as R gene. R gene stands for antibiotic resistance. So this is antibiotic resistance gene. And this gene provides resistance against antibiotics as the name tells us. And the third gene which is present is known as call gene. And it provides resistance against colicine. So this is resistance against colicine. Colicine is a chemical secreted by 
E. coli, Escherichia coli. So this gene provides resistance against that toxin. So these three genes are present on plasmids. And if plasmid is there, it is going to have these three genes. The F of these three, that is F gene, is responsible for formation of these sex pili. So a positive strain cell will hold a negative strain cell so that they can conjugate and exchange of genetic material can take place. Apart from this, whenever we talk of bacteria or prokaryotic cells, we also talk of gram-positive and gram-negative, G-positive and G-negative cells. Gram-positive cells are the ones which take the gram-staining, the stain. They take the stain. That means they get stained by purple color. And it is called gram staining because it was the staining technique was developed by gram. And if they do not take the stain, do not get stained by this gram staining technique, then they would be termed as G negative or gram negative. Now, what makes them gram positive or gram negative? The stain is taken by peptidoglycan. So, if the outermost wall is peptidoglycan, that means they have plasma membrane and peptidoglycan, then the peptidoglycan wall is going to take the stain and it would become purple in color. The detail of the staining technique we discussed when we talk of kingdom Monera. But here we need to just know what is the basic difference. Gram negative bacteria are those which have one more layer outside the cell wall. And this layer is a lipoprotein layer. This layer, if present, then the stain doesn't reach up to the peptidoglycan. And this outermost layer, that is lipoprotein layer, it doesn't take the stain. So if we take two types of cells, one with peptidoglycan exposed, give it the staining, it would take the purple stain. But if there is one more layer outside it, the purple stain is not able to reach up to the peptidoglycan layer. And when we wash the cell, then the lipoprotein layer, it removes or it doesn't get the stain. So it, the stain is washed off. So the cell would remain more or less colorless. So we call it gram negative. So on the basis of this gram staining, we divide these bacteria or prokaryotes into gram positive and gram negative. So this is a basic structure of a prokaryotic cell, only nuclear material, all the enzymes are in the cytoplasmic content. Mesosomes perform the functions of respiration like our mitochondria. Plasmids may or may not be present. If found, then the cell is termed as positive strain or donor or equivalent to male. And if plasmid is not there, then negative strain. And this plasmid has three important genes. That is F gene, R gene and Col gene. F gene is responsible for formation of these sex pili. So from outside also we can identify whether the cell, cell is a positive strain or a negative strain. Or whether the cell has plasmid or not on the basis of these sex pili. So both positive and negative would have fimbri. But only positive cells would have sex pili. So this is the basic structure of a typical prokaryotic cell. Now in the next part, we will take the eukaryote.